Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the Rusty Toolbox. In this episode, we take delivery of the new project car, our 1980 Volvo 240. And we uh, dig into it and see how much work it's gonna be, see if we can find any treasures from previous owners, and uh, see how much rust we can pull out of this thing. Stay tuned. There it is. She's home. She's a beaut. In case you were wondering. Yeah, I mean, it's a rusty pile of crap. But that's all right. It's beautiful. Volvo 240DL. Welcome home. All righty. See how we do. There we go. Look at that. Snug as a bug. That's why they pay these guys the big bucks. Alrighty, here we go. Like I said, the seats are the seats are not bad, but uh, they definitely need to be cleaned. Got all kinds of belts and things. I uh, I think it's about that time to take everything out, and clean this thing up. Give me gloves. See what other loot we can recover. All right. Front. The carpets. The carpets are in nice condition. Could probably get some some decent coin for these for the carpet set. The old turn knob. Okay. The old cassette deck. That's pretty cool. That feels Pretty loose. All right, let's see what else we got in here. There's a the Kiros. All right. Um, like I said, the seats are pretty decent condition. Got some paperwork, fragrance-free cat litter, money. Okay. Um, that looks like an old cover, probably in the trunk. Tire iron. Nice. I don't know. Oh, that is the hood release. Okay. All right, let's look in here. holds itself up okay so uh, nice we got a can of uh, an empty can of raid some bolts I may or may not need for something okay air intake with the uh, housing it just needs a new filter really okay um, Missing that belt is gone. Oops. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tricky. It's in a pretty rough shape, it looks like. I know the, uh, the previous owner said that the oil pan was cracked. And it looks like it would be fairly easy to access. And also the uh, motor mounts are, yeah, the motor mounts are junk, which is common in these cars from what I've researched. Um, Needs a fan, obviously. Uh, I mean, he could throw an electric fan on there. I don't know. Maybe it's not as uh, maybe it's not as toast as it as it looks. Oh, an extra rim. If this is a full-sized spare, is that a full-sized spare? Oh, nice. Nice. These have been painted over. You think looks like they were originally red. These tires, these wheels. I mean, but this is a full-sized spare. Um, the tire looks like it's junk, obviously, but uh, that's nice to have. Uh, radiator or a fan housing looks like. Fan housing. Toss that. Ooh. A nice towel, a beach towel. Honestly, I needed one of these. So that's a, I'm just kidding. Kitty litter. I don't have a kitty. A, uh, looks like a glass pack. Hi! Hi. Did you hear her? No, what did she say? I said, what you doing, Dad? What are you doing, Dad? Original Jack. Really rusty. <laughs> and there's a hole too. Yeah, there's a couple holes. Five. So obviously, I mean, this whole panel is just garbage. Whoa. Garbage? That's really weird. I'm definitely not sold on keeping this old exhaust system. Um, that'll probably all be going, which is. Yeah, of course it will. Um, what is that even? Well, that doesn't really lock, does it? This is the original dash. The original um, dash unit shows 177,000 miles. It's uh, it's. Use them all well, it seems. Hey bud, hey bud, hey bud. We'll definitely have to do some... We'll definitely have to do some patching up back here. I mean, this is... That's pretty, pretty gnarly. <laughs> I can, I can stick my hand all the way through there. And that's just, yeah, that's just bad. But... But, it's not terrible. So yeah, we'll keep cleaning this, uh, cleaning the car up. The doors are okay. I mean, the, they function well. They, the, all the latches seem to be working fine. Windows go up and down in their place like they should. That's good. A lot of the weather stripping is toast. It does have the sunroof and it's pretty much all good. I'm wondering if somebody would would pay for that sunroof. The inside looks fine. I mean, it looks pretty good. It doesn't have the little knob here. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm just, I'm thinking I'm going to tear this thing apart. There were thoughts of trying to restore it. 
but with the body as rusted as it is, the paint is in horrible condition as it is, and the motor in the in the way that it is. Uh, I'm, the long block is fine, um, and the top end seems fine. It, it does, from what the other owner said, it needs a new. Um, oh, hold on. Oh, some, more, some more change in here. Sorry. It does need a new um, oil pan. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to tear all this out. Take the seats out. Maybe keep the driver's seat. Maybe keep the passenger seat. Definitely get rid of the rear seat. Get rid of all the carpets. Oh. Stick that back on, for sure. Um, yeah, I'll epoxy that back onto the car. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna tear this thing apart. We're gonna start from scratch. I think we're gonna go all the way down to to zero. Um, we're gonna find a motor, find a transmission, and here's what I've been thinking lately in terms of what I want to do with this car. I was thinking at first do a drift car. You know, weld the diff, um, put some kind of motor in there and and have it be a fun little drift car. Then I thought, oh, maybe we'll just restore it and have the Volvo motor in there and just kind of bring it back to life. But I think what I really, really want to do is keep the exterior pretty much the same. Keep the patina and the rust as kind of a sleeper. And I want to find a lightweight lighter lighter weight six cylinder motor either a v6 or an inline six and i want to get some nice suspension and i want to turn this into a rally cross machine so my goal is to try to get this thing finished in the next few months so i can start participating in the utah rally cross um, competition they have uh, competitions out at the racetrack out um, out in Tooele, and they have them up uh, closer to where I am, up here in Salt Lake. But uh, I think this would be a ton of fun to turn into a rally rally car, rally cross car. So um, that's what I'm leaning towards at this point. So thanks for thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for subscribing. Got to get to a hundred. Uh, Got to get to a thousand subscribers. Um, so I can start doing this uh, more often, start doing this more full-time, and really dedicate more time and energy to this build. So make sure you like, subscribe, tell your friends. We're going to have a big old honking getaway, giveaway. I'm going to give away some, some awesome stuff at 1,000 subscribers. So thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for all the votes and the kind words. And uh, hopefully you guys are as excited as I am to really tear into this thing, put a new, new motor, new transmission new probably pretty much everything into this car and it'll be a lot of fun and we're going to do it on a tight tight budget so all the money that i sell from all the money that i get from selling off parts like like the sunroof and the seats and, and the carpets and anything else in the motor that is going right back into the build and we're going to try to do this on a shoestring budget and make it like a lot of fun and a little hoon hoon machine so thanks a lot guys we'll see you next time